why activities are so bad in residential senior communities. Hey, my name is Katie Hamilton and I am the Director of Client Success at Conversion Formula. But let's talk about why activities are so bad in residential senior living. I could tell you why, because it's a stereotype. Maybe a stereotype that some communities are believing and so therefore they're giving themselves a break to not have great activities, but I know there's no community that is partying like a residential senior living community. That is right. I love it. I think it is so great. I think there are so many things that you can do with a small group of people versus a really, really large group of people. I think there's so many opportunities to foster relationships and those activities, but why are they so bad? Why do we have that stereotype? Why do people think that absolutely nothing is going on in residential communities? I think the stereotype is really, really difficult. I have endured it for quite some time in my time in residential senior living. And I think it's because of fear. Like most things that we face in this industry, people have a lot of fear. And it is our responsibility to help them navigate it. I know we don't want to have a million conversations explaining ourselves or explaining the whole residential industry. It is a very difficult. I am with you. But I am also with you that it is a huge honor to be able to change the way that people see our communities, change the way that people see senior living as a whole or even the season of their life. It is such an amazing and rewarding responsibility and honor to be there. And I hope you can feel that. I hope that when people say that, when they don't know how great you are, when they don't know what you can offer, that instead of being discouraged, you see that as this is my opportunity. I'm going to show you all the things that we can do, not in a crazy, weird, way but in a hey just so you know we offer the same services that that big box community down there offers just in a smaller community setting there are so many ways that we can be pushing it back against those stereotypes pushing back against the box that people have put us in because we know what good care looks like and we also know what having a good time looks like. So many tours that I've had where people are like, I just don't want my mom to play bingo all day. Like, please don't let her play bingo all day or make her play bingo all day. And as someone who really enjoys bingo, I get it still. I really get it because you're afraid it goes back to that fear, right? We're constantly facing that fear with these families of what is this going to be like? What is it going to feel like? How is this person going to really be cared for? There are so many fears layered into this process that this is a really great way to take their hand and lead them through this experience so they know they're not alone. And they also know that their loved one will be cared for really well and listened to and have a great time, right? We want them to come into these communities to live. They're moving in for the rest of their lives almost. There's a lot of life to live in there. Let them live it. Encourage them to live it. Show them how when you move in here, it's not the end, which is the biggest fear that people carry with them through this process. It is a new beginning. You're going to have new friends. You're going to have new things that you do. You're going to have other things that you already like to do that are introduced into the activity schedule. Let's all do them together. It can be such a sweet time if we facilitate that and we push against the stereotypes that try to keep us in a box. We can do it. We have another video regarding operations and fostering a good social environment in your community. So definitely check that out or let us know in the comments down below. We can go into greater detail, but really I wanted to take this video to let you know that you're doing a great job. You really are. Everyone is standing on those front lines, letting people know what residential communities can do, letting the families know, which is most important, that there is another option other than skilled nursing or really, really large community. We are an option for you and we have a good time. And yes, we're gonna have that stereotype that we fight against, but we're gonna do it while we're playing charades. We're gonna do it while we're playing bingo. Please let us know in the comments down below if you have any questions, if there's anything you would like to add to this discussion. I would love to hear your thoughts and we'll see you next time. Have a great day.